EIDL grant is back on, baby. The $10,000 EIDL grant you never got could be laying in your bank account as early as next week. That's $10,000 from the SBA 2020 EIDL grant application, or the remainder of the $10,000 grant you never got. Now, as Joe Biden is set to debut his third stimulus check bill next week, there will be business grants in there. He has not yet used the word EIDL, but by all accounts, it will be EIDL. Meantime, over this weekend, we're expected to see two EIDL grants from the second stimulus go live. That is first the inner city low income EIDL grant and the farmers and ranchers. So how do you do an EIDL grant? In this throwback video, I go over the EIDL grant, the application process, the shortcomings, and the troubleshooting when you get into any pitfalls. It's easy breezy when you know the correct answers. So enjoy this overnight LA throwback video on the EIDL grant. Confusion heats up as some viewers wonder, where's the grant money? Where's their loan money? Why am I getting the grant before the loan? And why has it been three days and I haven't got a penny? A lot of impatient people have now joined this channel. Thanks for tuning in. Where you're all welcome, the patient and the impatient. As always, this is Ella Light. As thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below. And we may feature them in tomorrow's recording or just delete them all entirely if they're so impatient. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert every time there's a new EIDL grant video or confusion of why the Kentucky Derby is not first and the Belmont Stakes is first. Uh, and congratulations to the horse that ran, ran and won moments ago, if you didn't catch it on LA. We'll be getting to all 120 of your EIDL grant video questions shortly. Moreover, the bombshell of the day, which is how do you get multiple grants um, and how do you not get multiple grants? But first, I want to tip off uh, an issue that is really uh, coming to a head so that I can uh, offset a lot of the comments that are, that are really percolating. Viewers of this channel encompass two groups. They are OGs of the DC, people who applied for the EIDL grant and loan back in March and are still with me um, because they love my shirts or because they're still having problems getting their grant alone money. Um, also, we have newbies who are people who applied in May or June just this week for the EIDL program and have questions about their grant or loan money. It's those, that second group I want to answer right away. Uh, the grant and loan program, as you know, opened for all businesses this Monday. If you don't know, while it opened for all businesses this Monday, the SBA was holding thousands of non-qualified applications who filed earlier in the month of May under agricultural who are clearly not agricultural, whether they did it intentionally or they did it accidentally. And come this last Monday, SBA took those files that were initially ineligible and made them eligible because the entire portal was open. So as to processing times, because that's the vast majority of the questions I've got in the last 24 hours, you're wondering what the processing times is. Well, those people who applied in May, unfortunately, were processed first before even people who applied this last Monday when the correct door was open. Um, now, as to the people who applied this last week, the overriding consensus is, it's been 24 hours, where is my money? Well, welcome to the SBA and welcome to this channel. Because the SBA seems to just do things on its own regard. So a lot of the questions have been, I applied on Monday and my friend got his grant on Tuesday and I haven't seen anything. Or I applied on Monday and I got my loan on Thursday but I haven't got my grant. Or the reverse, I applied on Monday, I got my grant but I haven't got my loan. Here's my answer. <laughs> Be patient. Uh, I know it sounds sort of naive and sort of ridiculous, but please be patient. I, there are a lot of channels out there and a lot of friends and foes that are telling you, hey, they got their grant money or loan money or both within 24 hours of the door being open last Monday. And you're sitting back sort of frustrated that someone else got things so fast and you didn't. It's the nature of the SBA. So don't think there's any cause for alarm. 
So a lot of your comments are, when am I going to get this? When am I going to get that? I've been 24 hours. I can't wait around any longer. Um, I'm just going to unfortunately skip you because the answer is just give it a few days. At this point, that's the current processing times. If you're new to this whole entire environment, the situation is the following. We know certain ebbs and flows within a two, three day period. After that, everything changes. Let me give you an example. In May, when the portal opened for agricultural, I had ag agricultural applicants tell me that they got grant and loan money immediately within the first day who applied on that Monday. But, by view but among viewers who had applied by Friday, they were backed up almost several weeks. It's that sort of immediate change of the system that I, we really don't know. We don't know if it gets so backlogged so quickly that everything slows down, or if there's something else. There's always been these chatter of regional issues that certain regions of the country get processed first. We really don't know. Bottom line is some people are getting grant money first before loan, some are getting loan before grant. The grant money will come in a portal invite that'll say something like reconsideration advance. It's the craziest expression you ever heard in your life. It doesn't, make, it doesn't say the word grant, it says reconsideration advance. Uh, and then you'll get a loan offer and that'll send you into loan portal and that, and that will be there. So. There you go. Have some patience and uh, welcome to the process. And don't come back saying it's been 20, it's been 16 minutes. I haven't seen my grant alone money. Oh boy. Tell that to my OG viewers who have been running around since March and haven't seen a penny. Uh, Mark Higgins got his money yesterday. Congrats. Francisco Petter, I applied April 9th and got the grant three weeks ago. We got the portal email with a low, low, with a low offer, submitted reconsideration, all the documents. To this day, no reply. Wrote Ted Cruz and, and John Corcoran. I would contact the other senator. I don't know. Is John Corcoran the? I don't know what the two senators' names are. I know Ted Cruz, but I don't. I would contact every representative you have in, in, floor, in, in Texas and get on top of it. Uh, and, and, and keep me updated, Francisco. Uh, Amy Perkins applied April 11th, got a denial May 29th, filed a reconsideration, called and asked where my grant was. They said I didn't check the box. I mean, that's what um, we did last Monday. We said take screen grabs of everything. Shahira applied for two Vortex April tw uh, portal invite 521, approval 69, funded 610, grant 619. Wow. So everything just sort of sped up quickly. Love your channel. Well, congratulations, Jagita. Boy, she went all the way from April 2nd to June 19th that she had a way. So that's how you have to have patience. Paul um, got our loan offer on Wednesday. Congrats, uh, Grandma Ducky. I was denied a while back. I didn't make reconsideration. I was notified today the grant is coming. But they did say my loan was coming in a different email. So basically, they separated the two. Is that normal? Uh, does it sound like I was being accepted? Wow, I don't know. That's great news, Grandma Ducky. Keep me up, updated. She's a real original viewer of this channel. Uh, Rocky Aquino, 329, no grant and loan approved, but can sign documents so I can apply last Monday for a new one. And I just got a grant in 24 hours. Uh, okay, let me read that slower so you all hear what he said. He applied 329, no grant and loan approved, but can sign documents. So I applied last Monday for a new one and I got a grant just 24 hours later. Uh, drop your comments below what you think of that. Ed Torres, I got my grant my account before I applied for my, before I approved EID loan. Okay. Uh, Ed Torres, I forgot to say I applied in May in which I got approved on June 15th. Congrats. Beauty Babe, I spoke to Tier 2 and they have access to emails for the loan officers for your consideration. Oh, uh, Black Stuntman, I got my portal offer May in May, sent it immediately, agent replying, moved to the next step. Good uh, any app, any thoughts? No, I mean I would stay on top of that. Sounds great. Um, it's moving. Yumi applied six fifteen got grant approval loan docs. Wow, congratulations! That's fast. Ezekiel, um, <laughs> bless you, Elliot. Do not cease the dropping the meaningful bombshells. Congrats, thank you. My live three D. I was still waiting for my grant money. I already have my loan. Uh, so she's a 411. I mean, she's having real great patience. See, these people have patience. I don't want to hear people that can't wait 24 hours since Monday. Gur Lee, uh, the Honorable Carranza. Yeah, I know. They're asking to produce documents. Tamora Hitter. Uh, I received an email denial of the 15th. I was livid. 
since everyone after April are getting there pretty quickly, help me out. Like the denial says I wasn't approved because of my credit, but they're pleased that they've helped me with the advance payment. I haven't received either. I'm steamed. So absolutely. I mean, that was a lot of viewers have gotten that letter that you need to just do a reconsideration, say, hi, I never got my grant money. Then they'll send you the grant money. Now get ready. If you want the loan, you got to make another argument to get the loan because they'll just hand over and give you the grant. They know you they haven't given you the grant. That's just a mistake of a letter. Is the advance coming? No, you have to ask for the grant. Uh, so you need to do reconsideration asking for the grant money. Tony Jones, LA, I've been watching for a while. Prior to April 11th, called and got regular processing. The, they called last, we only told, they then called last, we only to be told I didn't request the grant. Also, file reconsideration for the loan, got a loan offer denial today. Haven't heard anything on the reconsideration. What do you success? Uh, so did you do the reconsideration? You need to do a reconsideration for the denial of the loan and in there put the request for the grant. You have to do both things in that letter and that will get you the grant money. I don't know if you'll win the loan, but it'll, it'll get you the grant money. Beauty Bay, for my second business, I run downtown, uh, doing downtimes for my ag. I was told my info matches, so I applied 6 to 17. Um, Meg, uh, Leggard. Uh, Kimberly, my loan funded Thursday, no grant. Chris, please re revisit my scenario if possible. Okay, Chris, I'm sure it's been covered, but I know everyone seems to be having different results. I applied on 4-3, got the cookie cutter emails. Oh, great. $150,000 loan approval immediately slid the slider down to $20,000. Contacted by my loan offer, asked to revise, re-enter my portal info. Then apologized, emailed him. Sure, the loan was not tied to the grant. Waited two weeks, called SBA. Got the $20,000 within 24 hours, and five days later, still waiting for the elusive grant. What to do? Call SBA. Um, it should be coming. Uh, you, you know, be on top of them. I'm glad you got what you needed. It's been a long time. Wow. So here we go to the bombshells. Um, the detail about multiple grants. So <laughs> as you heard that other viewer, which it was sort of not very clear, so I don't want to shade him too much. But if you have one social security number, if you have one social, <laughs> I thought something in the weeds was about to attack me. If you have one social security number, you cannot have multiple grants. It's as simple as that. So I don't care if you have 55 different Schedule Cs, you can only get one grant. You can't ask for multiple grants for yourself just because you have a lot of different side gigs, side hustles, side, <laughs> side side jumps off jump offs uh, I, I hate those expressions if you have a lot of things going on in your life and they're all schedule C's you can only get one grant and that's it now if you have multiple EINs and those multiple EINs file separate tax returns those all can individually apply so if you own a shoe manufacturing company and you own a restaurant chain and you own a truck driving company you own all these different businesses and they all have individual tax returns and they're all impacted by COVID-19 they can all apply. They're all entitled to the grant. And they're all entitled to the loan. They will, um, when they process them, they'll all put your contact information in the same portal and they put, may put them all in the same portal. Don't worry about that. That's just, they, they, they know it's all you because ultimately they're going to ask the owner and, and if the owner is you and your social security number, that is fine. Um, it's just, you can't have multiple applications for yourself individually. Uh, and a lot of viewers of this channel who originally applied in March have now reapplied for their other businesses. So there you go. Uh, Tim Wilson, I can't imagine getting on when someone's bad side. I keep on getting my bombshell vodka shots ready to go for this video. Uh, Samuel, thank you for answering my question. I'm listening every day. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. Hel Helen Sosa, got a loan offer on Tuesday, approved on Wednesday. On Thursday, I got my grant. Wow, but I haven't gotten the loan. Lewis Taylor, I got this email of the reconsideration email advance. We were unable to successfully verify. What does that mean? That's basically the grant. For the new viewer, for the new applicants, you're getting this advanced reconsideration thing that says, I want to confirm your bank account. You fill that out, you get your grant. That's for the grant. It's so unclear what it is. Uh, Hansel, Elliot, update. I wrote you yesterday about missing my grant deposit from the bank. Well, the grant money arrived. Um, so either they never sent it or they actually sent it. We shall never know. Congratulations. Wow. Bo B, if you haven't received the remainder of your grant, it's, o it's over. You're not going to receive in the portal period of time. Not necessarily true. It just it, it, it may just be a mess. Jash Jack, 
beware of the experience of the glitch in the SBA system. I, my loan was in the Vortex for a couple months at the signing of the document. It says there's no document to sign. It was marked completed three times, three times, five days, caseworker, never fixed. My portal remained in funded stay status. Wow, um, great effort. So he was, um, he has great advice to you that he said his application just said it was all done and yet he had nothing. He had no loan agreement. He had no money. He was like, well, it's not done on my side. So don't sit back and just think things are fine. Regina Cano Gonzalez, I work for the State Department. I know this stuff uh, works because the SBA is under fire. It's a path of re resistance. Pizza God, you're buried. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? Apparently, my Grant is. Because SBA says it's approved. You should be getting it. Of course, I haven't gotten it. Wow. Louis Paduano, hey, I like, give me a denial of a loan. Still waiting for my Grant money. Um, a funny thing, they know my file with the information I sent them. You, what do you think, LA? I'm starting to stay with... I'm definitely staying with the channel, to be honest, LA. It makes me feel good to see how many people you're helping. Want to be president? You got my vote. Well, thank you. So you got a denial of a loan for ag, but that puts you into the new portal. Oh, wait, but you did a reconsideration letter two weeks ago. It was C Saturday that to get your grant money. Still waiting on my grant money. So yours is weird. Uh, you got a deny. You applied for an ag. You were denied because you weren't ag. So you should have had you should have gotten another email last Monday saying, hey, now we're processing you. But you had already done a reconsideration. I would call SBA because they're gonna put you in the current you should not have de been denied a loan now because you should be considered in the new group. Pedro, because they're considering all the ag people now in the in the new group. Pedro Vega, hey, I like great info and vegs. Um uh, vids, keep up the good work. Sent my reconsideration June 4th and 18th. No response from SBA. I'm hearing the email's full. Yeah, a lot of you are saying the email's bouncing. I call SBA and tell them, hey, your damn email's bouncing. There's other emails from SBA. So I would, you know, call Kimberly Butler or something like that. Uh, Robert Henson, love the show. Thank you for supporting the channel, Robert. Always giving donations. Thank you so much. Christopher Ingram, just want my money. Um, the man's, our business was declined on SBA. No money, no grant. Entrepreneur. I applied a few days ago. Should I reapply? No. If you applied a few days ago and you don't have patience, do not reapply. Oh my goodness. Lewis, I'm a landlord, sole proprietor, got a loan of 528. Can I have another property I didn't include on a previous application? Can my wife apply for the other property? Well, if the other property has its own LLC and does its own tax return, yes. Um, if you have like 50 properties and each is its own tax return uh, and each is its own EIN, uh, you know, yes. And if the wife ha has her own property and it's its own uh, LLC or incorporation, it's only IIN, absolutely. That's the purpose of the process. Now, if they're all together on the same tax return, no, absolutely not. If the wife files separately than you and she has separate um, activities separate from you, she can apply for the process. Gina, he's so informative. Well, thank you, Gina. Paul Ryan, a comment on multiple applications for me. I got an e email today saying there were, was a mistake that explained to me somehow the EIN for my nonprofit, for my profit business got put on the nonprofit application. I emailed to correct my, the problem, my sixth application. God, why are they always making mistakes with your application, Paul? This is crazy. Paul's a longtime viewer of this channel, an OG, and he's he's getting nowhere with his first application. Now he does a new one, and they've already messed up the 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 numbers. Wow. Uh, Prime, big time LA viewer. Thank you for keeping us on top of this. I followed two S, followed with SBA two times. So it's been a week, advanced update portal. Uh, I did hear about the loan offer. They sent me a 16 page form allowing a co signer. I'm so over this point. I just need to grant this point. Thank you for LA. Continue to support and show the follow. Um, so I guess you got the advanced portal a week ago, but you haven't gotten the money yet. I would call SBA. That's a long time. William Mickelson, dad signed his loan papers for 18. Congrats. Um, oh, three times transfer supervised, three times hung up. Wow. Brian B. Happy weekend. I received the grant portal verification Friday. Um, it's only been 
five business days. Should I receive the grant this upcoming week? Yeah, absolutely. Dimitri, one month, no answer for the reconsideration team. And with familiar with Javita's email? Yes, it's in the comments. Always look below. Uh, Yvonne Gonzalez, thank you for the info. Thank you. Um, Interceptor, L never late on SBA's information. Johnny Finley, LA's very good at what he does. Please follow LA's e uh, advice. Contact email Javita. Contact senators and congressmen. Absolutely. Wrote many emails. I would call them. Not only, I wouldn't just email them. Receive my $1,000 advance as a sole proprietor. EIDL will materialize out of thin air with no forewarning. No chances in emails. There's a wait time. I'll test. Stay away from clickbait as, there's, as there are only one thing and they're making off money through the channel and placements of ads. Senators and congressmen are your elected rep representatives. If your banking information, have your banking information, get your AI deal so you have to verify it. Yes, make sure that's all correct. In short, take the bull by the horns and take no for an answer. Well, very well said. Thank you, Johnny Finley. Laura Lucky, here's a tip. Be sure you check your junk email. Yeah, some people get stuff from SBA and junk. I wonder why. Uh, not a lot of viewers, though. Ratty Glass got an email 419 approved 52,000. Do I need to accept the loan to receive the grant? I don't know. Uh, you got 30 days to find out. So I don't know the current SBA policy. And if I answer today, it might be different tomorrow. I don't know yet. With the, with the March and April people, absolutely you had to accept it. Javina messed with the wrong guy. Trust me. Tom Wilson. Laura Hale, I'm an independent contractor doing transcription. Oh, I answered you in the other video today. Um, Jeff Norbert, crackling phones. Yeah, a lot of people have phones, phones at SBA. Shane Turner applied 616, approval of $13,000 loan, waiting for the fund, waiting for the grant. Paul Ryan. Okay, so here's Paul's update. Paul's been on all my videos today like three times. I love it. I just emailed Mike, Senator Mike Braun, hoping he'll start getting the SBA off my off their butt and doing things for me. I've been getting sporadic emails from SBA, just some questions. Hopefully this will be it. As you know, I'm a 334 text on June 16th application as well. Um, Paul, I would make sure that June 16th is on the tracks. It sounds like it's already getting messed up with the wrong info, but stay on top of Brown. And as I said, don't just email, call people. Um, Bo Blue, Handsome and Blue. Well, thank you so much. Samantha Elliott, I have two businesses. One, I show my SSN, <clears throat> I started 419. Um, anyway, my question is, my second business I started on 1019 was planning to launch in April. Then it hit this mess. It has an EAN and one employee besides me, how, myself. However, no revenue. Should I apply? Uh, if it's impacted by COVID-19, you'll, you'll, yes, and you'll get $2,000. I think I actually had a question like that back in April when, when this thing launched. Yes. Um, Ed Torres, uh, file for a loan, approved $19,000, 680 I misunderstood the cost of goods to include work and capital, submitted this, sent a reconsideration, also sent a reconsideration with a documentation of a narrative why I'm entitled a larger loan amount. So he's watching his channel, absolutely. Uh, I confirmed with my congressman, if it wasn't for your channel, I would have been all, I wouldn't have been able to cover all my bases. I'll keep you posted, absolutely. Keep me posted, Ed, from New York City. Um, so he got, he filed for a loan. He got approved for $19,000. Um, but I guess, it, I, I guess it got denied, and now he's doing a reconsideration. Sean, I know someone who's on Social Security but has a side business. You can apply for your uh, you can apply for EIDL grant without affecting benefits. Mark, I filed, filled out the application 422, applied 619, loan, still nothing on the grant. Sheila, I didn't hear you talk about the bombshell topic yet because I was waiting on the advance. I see EIDL advance portal for my business verifying information. Um, your topic says something about the advance grant being stalled behind the EIDL loans. Yes. So some people in, this, in the newbies are getting grants before loans. Some are getting loans before grants. Uh, Christopher, let's just be clear. It's not really grant money. It's made. Um, Phil, why, why are they delaying business grants without letting people know why the grants are delayed? I don't know. Jeff, um, sole proprietors don't list employees, appreciable assets. Uh, I was given an email today. First, some context. I was offered six thousand dollars loan. I did not accept it, but I asked for an increase. I was told I could not hang up and call back. What? <laughs> uh, the application is in funny says we had to instruct the applicant to fill out the form. So if the applicant wants an increase, yeah, in, in asking for increases on the new grant, 
loan process for EIDL, they're doing, they're having you do a lot more work than if you're a March or April applicant. If you have questions to today's EIDL video, drop them in the comments below. Please like and shake, share, shake, I said shake. Please like and shake this video. Please like and share this video. Uh, thanks for saying to the end. There's also three second stimulus check videos today, which are very popular already. So please watch those as well. As always, stay at LA for more.